My name is Yin Beata and welcome back to my podcast Coloring Craft and this is Spring Break Law Day 5. Yeah, um, I have a new location <laughs> today. Um, I'm sitting in my living room. Um, I am home alone or no, that's not true. I have my kid here, my smallest one. She's sleeping upstairs in the in my bedroom where I normally record my episodes um, so yeah today I am here um, first of all what I'm wearing uh, this is a jacket <laughs> now it's in Norwegian we call it a um, kopnak a kofta, kofta, um, and normally they would have these kind of buttons, and you can see it's knitted bottom up, and you have the uh, sleeves sewn in, and most likely there has been you knit it in the round and then cut up and made this button bands um, yeah so this I I have not made it I didn't make this uh, I bought this at a second hand store in Oslo um, and I saw it and I was like oh I want that one uh, as you can see it has some really pretty flowers here and then I enjoy this it's more, it feels more like a, a contemporary, mo more modern kofta that way. Um, than many of the really old patterns. Uh, I think this, I found, I managed to track it down and find out the name. But I forgot, it's a couple of years back. It was originally um, designed to be in white and two uh, two colors of blue so it was this the darkest color here almost yeah that was the lightest color so it had a completely different look um this is uh more autumnal colors um this is not my usual color palette like brown and orange and uh, it's some really uh, bright pink not pink yellow it's the second time i did this <laughs> um but i i like it um i haven't worn it much the last couple of years um uh, but it's it's a nice piece uh, i used to wear it a lot when i was out uh, like strolling with my when my oldest girl she was a baby that's yeah um do you want to see more of it so here and also there's some on the sleeves and here in the bottom so the fit is it's very long for me and also in the back so the thing I need to wear it open because if I you know it's going to be ooh, Yeah, I can't really get the last one. <laughs> so it's very long, so this is not a fit for me, a good fit. But if I use it open like this, it's okay. Uh, kind of covers a little bit of the bum as well. So I think this is made in the 70s or 80s uh, with the Norwegian wool. I think Tipple Tex, it's one that's not in production anymore, but... Yeah, so it's nice and warm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was today's item. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking around as usual. Do you know what I forgot? <laughs> what I'm knitting on? <laughs> okay, two seconds. Okay, I'm back. So that was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> but you know, okay. 
um, I showed you yesterday. Uh, yeah, this headband. And in the evening, I finished it and cast it up. So I kind of have the. Yeah, I have to felt this. Um, yeah. So it's going to be uh, bunny ears. <laughs> so that's. I don't like. I I can't be the only one that uh, when I when in the weekends or holidays and I think like oh, I'm going to have so much free time, and then I forget that I have kids and <laughs> I don't have that much free time. Um, so I'm knitting in the evenings. Um, or like today, I would knit uh, when my smallest is asleep. Maybe watch a podcast. Um, but I'm recording this instead. Uh, so my knitting time is limited. And I'm very tired in the evenings these days. Now holidays, they are um, a little bit more intense. So I've been doing this. Fairly easy to knit while watching television or just feeling brain dead. And the other one uh, is, oh, it's not finished, but almost. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm losing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, two seconds. So I also showed you yesterday like a little mishap. It's going to be an Easter egg and it turned out way too big for what, for my liking. So I ripped it up, or I had some more yarn. So I started in the other end, and I made this one. It's kind of the same thing, but way smaller. Yeah, so I, um, I stuffed it with the yarn ends, cutoffs that I could find. Um, and it's not completely stuffed, so I need to find some more. And uh, then it's finished. And uh, maybe I need to crochet. Uh, it's just the, the last cast off. And I need. I want to crochet a little loop so I can hang it on the branch for like an Easter decoration. And I want to make another one. Uh, this is a free pattern I found on Ravelry. I guess it's just an Easter egg. I don't remember the designer, but I will link it down below. So yeah, some tiny Easter knits going on, nothing major. Uh, I have some other stuff that I want to show you as well. Yeah, uh, my Easter decorations. So <laughs> this was last year's Easter decorations from the kindergarten. <laughs> as you can see, it's uh, it's a cone which were painted and yeah easy assembling gluing on some but they are really cute <laughs> the chickens are really cute even they have some charm <laughs> and this is another one this I guess is a decoration to hang on a branch it's it's just wood piece of wood and uh, also it's painted feather glued on eyes and a beak so it's pretty pre pretty easy for a small kid to make so i uh, i treasure these small items and also if you watch my other episodes every year <laughs> we get a small basket with a cross. Yesterday I forgot the name in Norwegian, today I remember it's Kosha. So here they use some yarn and put on some beads to decorate and it's actually the bottom of a milk carton, sorry. Uh, yeah, so I haven't grown anything in it this year. Maybe we still have time to do that. <laughs> so yeah, this was last year's Easter decorations. Um, 
yeah, I'm looking at my some yellow knits. I think two years ago or three. Three. I did a tusk knit with these socks. Um, they are called Korn Blomst Sock, like a corn flower sock. Uh, yeah, this one is here. So it's a really nice pattern here. The designer is, um, uh, it was a collaboration between uh, Knitfulness and, oh my god, this is embarrassing. I even have her book. <laughs> okay, I will write it. Um, so yeah. These are my Easter socks and I knit a teeny tiny version uh, for my smallest kid. They are now too small and I still have some yarn. <laughs> so I think I used the, for the two other socks, I still have this leftover from two balls and another one. Um, so I, I can make her bigger socks. I think I promised her that last Easter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Siizu, oh the sun is coming, from the Norwegian factory's uh, Sangaskarn. So this is kind of wolf, a thin fingering weight. It says 27 stitches for 10 centimeters, 80% wool, 20% nylon. So it's, it's a sock yarn, so you know, I can use it to make sweaters and as well. Um, so yeah, this is a discontinued color. Um, bright yellow, which I like. So that's uh, socks in the making. And I have a little yarn treasure that I want to show you. So this is a skein from Manos del Uruguay. Alegria is superwash, merino and polyamide. So I 25% polyamide. This is more like a no. I thought it was DK, but it's it's fingering. 28 to 30 stitches for 10 centimeters. This is 405 meters. So either I could make a lot of socks, <laughs> like two pairs of socks, so I don't know, maybe one. I'm not a sock knitter, I don't really know. But the thing is, uh, the way I got to be the owner of this skein and this ball <laughs> uh, is through yarn swap. Uh, it's not like... Um, I know there is some organized yarn swap, like you buy a present and you, yeah, it's not that kind of thing. It's more like a um, community on Instagram or a hashtag where we, uh, we take pictures of a yarn and describe it and you either can sell it or you can uh, do an exchange, maybe exchange, bitta, is better than a swap. Um, so I don't remember. Well, I, I think it was some alpaca yarn, and I got this in the mail. So, um, yeah. An Instagram knitter and me, we, we did an exchange of, of yarn, and this is really nice. I, I love this color. I actually, I don't know, this brand, it says we are proud members of World Fair Trade or Organization. Uh, Manos del Uruguay means the hands of Urugu Uruguay. It's a non-profit organization which assembles women in cooperatives scattered throughout the countryside of Uruguay. The aim of the organization is to bring economic and social opportunities to rural, rural, rural women. So this says the, the location and the artisan. Uh, yeah. Isabel is the artist. So I think this might be hand 
hand dye, you can see there is some difference in it. So this is a this is a really nice skein, and I like the bright yellow. As I mentioned, yellow is one of my favorite colors. So yeah, I need to figure out what to make of this. But you know, I I am planning to go through my stash for Christmas. Uh, the Christmas vlog I made, I did go through my red yarn. And now I'm showing you my yellow yarn and it gave me a lot of joy. Like some some things, some some types of yarn I'm ready to let go or just knit it up and be finished with it. I have projects in mind. Another skeins like this is uh, it's just waiting for the perfect project, I guess. I don't mind having this yarn in my or collection. I like that word better. Yeah, my yarn collection, because this is a treasure, a gem, in my opinion. So, okay, so a little bit of life, life chat. Today is Wednesday of the Easter week or spring break. Tomorrow is like the start of the, or today. <laughs> I guess uh, many people are have their last day at work. My partner, he uh, was initially working, but he got uh, today and yesterday off. So they went to the family cabin. Uh, him and my oldest girl and me and baby, we are staying at home. We have something planned for tomorrow. And I need to relax today. If I want to do the thing tomorrow. <laughs> Life with a invisible chronic illness is not always um, easy in the holidays, so I'm doing my best to adjust. But we will do some grocery shopping, some last things before the shops are closing. And uh, maybe I'll pop into my local yarn store. They're like right next to each other, so I think that's why my yarn stash is just collection I mean is growing because every time I go to buy groceries it's like oh that's a yarn store <laughs> and now I'm getting really warm in this kofta oh, so I think it's time to say bye bye for today see you tomorrow